Hi, in this video from the Bad Back Gardener, today uh, we're going to be doing some repairs to my Mantis Tiller. It is a model 7222M. It's, it's quite a number of years old. It it's, was bought, uh, I'm not even sure when it was bought, but it, it's a pretty old model. It's been doing good, however, I am running into uh, some leaking uh, fuel hoses or fuel fuel lines here on it. And so I'm just, I bought a kit which I will show you a picture of here in a minute uh, and I'm going to do some replacement parts on it and show you how to rebuild that. Uh, the kit uh, I ordered online and it's kind of a multi-purpose kit. It's not a Mantis kit. It is an, it's a, another brand kit that is made to fit Mantis and some other brands. So there's some parts in it that uh, may not necessarily go with the Mantis but it's supposed to be designed for a Mantis tiller here to rebuild the carburetor and the fuel lines and uh, it also comes with a spark plug that if, it, if you want to replace the spark plug I will not be replacing mine today because I just recently put one in uh, but it does come with a spare park, spark plug as well so we'll get started with that Okay, first thing I've done here is I've taken and emptied out the fuel. It was leaking pretty good, but I emptied the rest of what was in the fuel uh, fuel tank out so I can take the hoses out. Now in here, you can see here's where the grommet goes in right back in here. You'll see that. And there's three hoses going in. If, the oil, if you've never replaced it, there may only be two going in, but the new ones all come with a, a vent. Uh, for it. So uh, the new ones you'll see there'll be three lines going into the fuel tank. So uh, what you want to do here is in this this one here which I'll have to change this is it comes with two grommets like I said I'll need the smaller grommet the other grommet must be for a different model or a different brand. So but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cap off the, the tiller to get to the parts here. So there's just a nut on the one side. So you don't lose the nut off that. You just lay that aside. And then it has to come out past the, the primer and stuff here when you take it off. So Good. Inside that is your filter, which it comes with a new filter, so I will put that that filter in here to replace the old filter, which isn't terrible, but it's a little bit dirty. So we can go ahead and do that right off the bat here. Order and we can set that aside. Okay, so this is our new carburetor. As you can see, this is where the fuel lines will go into. This is your priming bubble. These are your adjustments for your carburetor here. You'll see these two adjustments, and then these are your, your where your fuel lines go in, your priming bubble. And here's some other adjustments. Here's where a cable comes down through. It goes out up to your on-off switch and your your uh, trigger to for speed wise we'll go through here so the first thing I'm going to do is take the cable off of that okay the next thing is there's two brass screws that go through here and here and they go directly in the clean back to here and that's what holds the whole thing on so we'll take that off next Okay. 
actually, I think I'm going to flip this down. You want to be careful not to lose any of these little parts that may come out with it. it out. That's what you're looking at there. Sit to that side. Careful not to damage your fuel tank at all, because it's just plastic out. Okay, pull those out from here. So there's what we're looking at right there. So that's what we're going to be replacing this whole thing here. So you don't need to worry about taking anything more apart. You just want to realize that as you can see where my hoses have cracked real bad so now I just got to put the smaller grommet onto this So you just got to pay attention to the orientation of, of the grommet to where the, the hoses went in and out. So this one goes in from this side. And then the other two will come out. Well, this one it doesn't matter which side it comes in because it does not have any end on it. And then this one has to go in on this side here. So these are going to be your two, your two hose or yeah, two hoses that go to the fuel line. So they go to one to here and one to there. Okay, so on here there is a gasket that you will see. There's a little gasket here. And we're going to wipe that off. And with it, we actually got two gaskets with the kit. So you just got to line up which gasket goes with which. And I believe it's this one here that's going to be the one that fits it. So we'll put that gasket on right there. The trick is going to be getting everything all lined up and getting these hoses all in the gas tank. We'll slip these two in here. And these three hoses in the gas tank. 
Let's put our grommet in the and try and put your grommet back in the gas tank without damaging it. Just leave enough hose outside of it to allow for your arranging of the the holes to align your holes where your carburetor needs to be. Okay, once you got the hoses all lined up here to make sure there's no kinking or anything in them because I think that's what may have happened to mine the last time they got cracked and brittle because there was a little bit too much kinking in them. So now I want to get my gasket in there in the proper position. After you get your gasket under there, now you want to take and line your holes up with the gasket and then take your assembly with the two brass screws and put them in. Hopefully they line up. Okay, we got that back on. Everything's lined up. You can take and put your cable back on to your set screw here. Your screw, you'll see there. It's the screw where the cable slips in. And we got everything all in, the grommet. The hose is all good. No kinks on the hoses. Got our gasket in there. We put our spark plug back on here. Now we can put our cover back on with the new filter on it. My cover is cracked a little bit from years of use. Take the nut, screw it back on here. Tighten that back down. You should be good to go. Put a little gas in it. And now you may have to take, like I said, there's those small screw adjustments in here. When you start it up but with a new carburetor, you may have to do a little bit of adjusting with the new carburetor to make it run exactly how you want it to run. Or to, it may run real fast or it may not, not want to run at all. Up at all so there's going to be a middle ground there that you want to get to but just put some fuel in it and you'll you can prime it again and start her up hopefully it'll work for you okay that's going to do it for rebuilding the carburetor on my mandis tiller here there uh, you can also which I didn't do was replace the spark plug like I said uh, mine was fairly new so I didn't replace it but that comes with the kit so you can replace that and do that and you'll have maybe have some adjustments like I said here 
for the carburetor to get it running good, but hopefully it works for you. Thanks for watching. Catch up with me on Facebook. You can also email me at bbgardener at zoominternet.net. And as always, if your back ain't hurting, you ain't working.